What's up YouTube, Jinx here from Core Gaming, and today I'm going to be doing one of my favorite deck profiles, Omni Heroes. So I'll just go ahead and get into the profile, explain some of my deck choices, etc, etc, and I'm considering doing a combo stream and or video, so if you guys want it to be a stream or a video, let me know in the comments and we'll get it done. So starting off with the Elemental Heroes, I played three Stratos. This is one of the core cards of the deck, obviously. You search a hero when he's normal or special summoned, or you can destroy spell and traps up to the amount of heroes you have. So, max out on Stratos. Next, I play two Elemental Hero Shadow Mist. When this card is special summoned, you can add a change. Quick play spell to your hand, and when it's sent to the grave, you can add a hero monster to your hand. So two of those. And then one Honest Neos. Boosting your heroes up by 25. And then one Liquid Soldier and one Solid Soldier. So, basically, when he's normal summoned, then you can special summon a hero from Grave. And if he's used as a fusion material and sent to the graveyard or banished, you can draw two cards and discard one. And when he's normal summoned, you special summon a hero from your hand. And if he is sent from the Monster Zone to the graveyard by a spell effect, you can target one hero monster in your graveyard and special summon it. So, one of each of those. I see a lot of people running more than one Liquid Soldier, and I don't feel like it's that necessary. I feel like it get a little cloggy after a while. So, one's fine for me, and then as the same thing with the Solid Soldier. I feel like one's okay there, too. Then, Destiny Heroes, we play three Malicious. This is another one of your playmakers of the deck. You would send this to the graveyard with either Vion, or you would send the Shadow Mist to the graveyard with Vion. And honestly, even if you open this card, it's not really a brick because there's ways to get it out of your hand to the graveyard. And we'll get into that. So three Mali. Then one Plasma. This is one of the boss monsters of the deck. Uh, it's basically a walking skill drain and Thousand Eyes Restricted one. So that's the best way to really explain Plasma. Then the last Destiny Heroes, we play one Celestial and one Dynatag. And yeah, that's it for Destiny Heroes. These two are really just in here for the Fusion Destiny targets. Then Vision Heroes, play three Vision Hero Ferris. This is the MVP of the deck in my opinion. If it's in your hand, you discard a Hero Monster and you Special Summon it. And then when it's Special Summon, you put a Vision Hero into the Spell and Trap card zone as a Continuous Trap. So three Ferris, that's one of the ways that you can get Malicious from your hand into the graveyard. And then the Vision Hero that you always want to get with Ferris is Increase. I only play one Increase at the moment, but I'm waiting on another one. And when that comes in, I'm going to cut the Celestial. So that would be my second Increase. But this guy's really good. When he is Special Summoned from the Continuous Spell Trap Zone, you Special Summon a Vision Hero from your deck. And the way you Special Summon him from the zone is tributing a hero so if you open Mali and Ferris then you can pitch the Mali special to Ferris banish the Mali and then tribute the Mali for this guy and then the vision hero you get off of increases effect is to Vion so what Vion does is when he's normal or special summoned you send a hero from the deck to the grave and again like I said you would either send Mali or Shadow Mist and then you can banish a hero from the graveyard and add a polymerization from your deck to your hand. So two of those. I don't run a Dusted Gold or Dark Calling, so it left me a little room to play around. And I've been testing new two Neospace Connectors and one Neospatian Aqua Dolphin. And honestly, it's I feel like it's a pretty good tech because you could start out with Connector and Special to Aqua Dolphin, and if you open Mali, you can discard the Mali and look at your opponent's hand with Aqua Dolphin. So it kind of lets you know how far you can extend. Like if your opponent has a Nibiru or a Droll or anything in their hand to stop you, then you kind of know about your limits, etc. So I actually really like this. I think I think this is doing pretty good for me. Moving on to the spells, we play three E call. Searches for an elemental hero, so it's basically a semi rota for the deck. Makes it easier to get through the deck and get all your resources. Next, three mass change. It's pretty self explanatory. 
And then we play two Fusion Destinies. So if you don't know what this card does, basically you Fusion Summon a Destiny Hero Fusion Monster using materials from your deck. So, um, what a lot of the times what I like to do is target Dangerous, and then you send one Destiny Hero Monster and a Dark Effect Monster, so you can send a Shadow Mist or anything like that with him. So, that's what I like to do, and Dystopia is actually a pretty good card too, but yeah, just two of these. And then we play the one ofs, we play one Miracle Fusion and one Poly. This is for Sunrise, this is for Vion. Then we play one Rota, one Mind Control, one Foolish, and one Monster Reborn. And then to end the main deck, we play three traps. I play two Strike and a Solemn Judgment. Moving on to the extra deck. I also don't play Malicious Bane, so we'll get started with that. I play one Sunrise. Sunrise is actually really, really busted. When I first read this card, I kind of underestimated it, but it's really good. So when he's Fusion Summoned, you get to add a Miracle Fusion from your deck to your hand. And once per turn, when a attack is declared involving a Hero Monster, you get to pop a card. So it's pretty, pretty good. <laughs> Then next we have one Absolute Zero and one Mastro Acid. These are your board wipe cards. So you mass change the Absolute Zero into Acid. When Absolute Zero leaves the field, you nuke the monsters. Yeah, you nuke the monsters. When Acid hits the field, you nuke the spell and traps. So that is your board wipe. Next we play two Dark Law. So typically your opening board is going to be a Plasma Dark Law, and that's going to lock your opponent out for the most part, because Plasma is a skill drain, and Dark Law banishes anything sent to the graveyard, and anytime they add a card from their deck to their hand except draw phase and damage step, then you get to banish a random card from their hand too. Then I play one Divine Wind and one Blast. I actually see a lot of people only playing Blast. But I feel like they're both situational cards, and because I'm not playing Bane, again, it gives me a little room to mess around. And I feel like they both have their situations where one's a little better than the other. So what Divine Wind does is basically locks your opponent down to only being able to attack with one monster. And Blast halves the attack of a monster. So they're both pretty situational in my opinion, but I run them both, so... Then I play one Dystopia and one Dangerous. Again, both just the Fusion Destiny targets. Then I play the one Vision Hero Trinity for the OTK. This card, when he's Fusion Summoned, he doubles his attack and he can attack three times in the battle phase. So if you're going second, you can drop this guy and drop an Honest Neos, and it's pretty devastating. Next, we play the Lynx. We got two Extra Hero Cross Crusader. This guy is really good. <laughs> Basically, you link summon into this guy and you special summon a Destiny Hero back from your graveyard. Then you contribute that Destiny Hero monster and add another hero from your deck to your hand. So it's really good because you typically link into this guy using Malicious. And then you special the Malicious back, pop the Malicious again, add a hero, and then banish the Malicious for another one. <laughs> so. Pretty good, pretty good. And then we play one Isolde for the Connector Aqua Dolphin play. The one Decimator, I actually hardly ever go into this card, but it's there. And then one Borload, another card I hardly ever go into, but it's there if I need it. So that's it for the deck. Uh, if you guys have any tips or anything like that, then let me know, and I will be looking for those comments on the... Um, the combo video if you guys want it as a video or if you guys want it as a stream just let me know and we'll get it done all right see you guys next time